came in ahead of GW as well. We were pushing it there at the end, uh, just running our own race, basically. Jockeying around a little bit with uh, uh, Michigan and, and uh, GW. Um, and right at the end, it wasn't until the very, I think, last two miles that GW had a problem. They hit their, their little wheels, got caught in a rut right, right in town here and just stopped them right down. And we happened to be just coming up on the right side and uh, th frankly didn't look back. Coming in fourth today, Cal State LA pulling up from 17th place to 7th. Although there's still hours behind the leaders. Uh, a lot better than yesterday. Uh, we've been running hard. Uh, hope to get some sunshine though. We're really depending on it now. But uh, we're really happy with how the car is performing. Day three, sunny conditions forecast all day. It'll be another close race among the leading cars, and things are getting tense. At this point, it's a really, really close race. We have a chance to get back into the lead. I mean, we we're a half hour behind because of what happened yesterday afternoon. Um, we can do this. We have a really good sunny day car, and as far as our strategy goes, it's, it's got to stay confidential. It's going to be bad in the morning, huh? Tomorrow looks bad. Yeah, and, and that, you know, drive on the high side of what we give them. Don't be always having us uh, having to push them up in speed. As day three begins, Cal State strategists have their eye on tomorrow. There are storms moving in, and when that happens, accurate weather forecasts and energy budgeting will become critical. And you are going to make a left. But for today, the strategy is simple. Use up everything, because there'll be plenty of sun to recharge with when they arrive. That's what we're doing here, is trying to set the speed of the car uh, and adjust it uh, along the way to make sure that when we end up today, we've just used up all of our batteries and we don't have anything left, but we, we haven't uh, had to stop before we get to the finish line. Today, Cal State LA hopes to use their speed to move up through the pack. Soon after the start, they get past George Washington. going to be a frustrating day. A minor problem to fix, and GW repasses. A few miles down the road, the two trade places again. And again, a few miles later. Cal State's a match for third place GW, but overall, they're still several hours behind after their first day disaster. By evening, Pomona, Michigan, and GW are still the top three. And off. Day four. With storms moving in, it's going to be a day for the strategists. How far down can the batteries be run? Will there be sun to recharge later? The leaders head out with confidence, but holding their cards close to their chests. If you were to ask me about the state of the battery charge, I don't think I'd give you a straight answer. Um, you could ask me probably three times, and I might give you three different answers. And that's what, where the guessing game is right now. Where is everybody, what, what their state of charge is? Because once the clouds come up, it's your batteries that, that are going to make you win the race. It's clear the fast cars are going to try to stay ahead of the weather. By midday, almost the whole field has been caught by the storm. All except six of the cars have run their batteries down and have to trailer to the finish, incurring big time penalties under the race rules. But the leaders who made it in were rewarded not with sunlight, but cloud cover. Today's run fast, charge later strategy had depended on accurate forecasting. That's basically what we were basing things on, was to get out fast and uh, get past what was going to be fairly bad weather around noontime and then get out and get here in charge, but uh, the charge here is not so good. We did. Cal State LA won today's leg, but things don't look good for tomorrow. We're hoping for some light. We really need it. And uh, it might be a race where we can, tra we can get further down the road and trailer in the least amount of miles. Over at the Michigan camp, 
They're not giving anything away. We really aren't too concerned with the weather. Uh, just we, we pretty much always know what it is. So whatever the, the conditions are, we deal with them. If you think this should be enough to stop any solar car, think again. As race time approaches, here comes Michigan. Within an hour, everybody's either crawling along on their last few watts of battery power, or they've ground to a halt. Except, that is, for Michigan. They're still running. So, first into Des Moines at the end of the leg, it's the Iowa State car. That's right, but it cost them a huge penalty for installing fresh batteries. The real winner today was Michigan. The only car apart from Iowa not to trail her in and get a penalty. Oh my gosh, it pays it all back. I'm just so excited, so happy. This is the man who did it too. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I can't believe we actually made it. I kept on, I kept on praying in the car, saying, come on, keep it going. I was doing sun dances and everything. <laughs> Suddenly it's a different race. Before, just minutes separated the leaders. But now Michigan has a massive two hours in hand. With sun all the way for the last two legs, the next three cars managed to chip a few minutes off Michigan's lead. But only some major failure can change things now. Energy efficiency, planning, strategy, weather forecasting. Michigan had simply done everything a bit better. And that's what won them the race.